and former President Donald Trump arrived at the Trump Towers in New York ahead of the historic booking and arraignment on hush money charges as the nation's largest city bolstered security and warned potential protesters that it was not a playground for your misplaced anger. That's right. In fact, the case against uh, Trump stems from payments made during his 2016 campaign. Trump is facing multiple charges of falsifying business records, including at least one felony offense. Now, of course, it's being seen as a historic uh, indictment because it's for the first time in U.S. presidential history that an ex-president or a sitting president has been indicted, Gargi. That's right. And there you could see visuals of Stormy Daniels, who's also at the center of this story. The investigation is scrutinizing six-figure payments made to the porn actor Stormy Daniels, as well as a former uh, Playboy model, Karen McDougal. That's right. Both say they had sexual encounters uh, with uh, Trump, who was uh, married back then. Before he got into politics, Trump has very vehemently denied all these claims. That's right. So an unprecedented chapter really in American history with Trump becoming the first former president to face such criminal charges. So what does it mean uh, for uh, Donald Trump, who is, of course, trying uh, for that presidential run again? Well, uh, the arraignment means Donald Trump is to appear before a judge for the first time and he's expected to plead not guilty. That's right. And the trial could go well beyond uh, the presidential election. And in fact, it could take over two years from indictment to trial and now of course all eyes are on what the political ramifications of this are going to be because as you rightly pointed out this is going to have an impact on the presidential race as well. Well Trump is hoping it's going to help him in the presidential race given uh, his uh, you know backers and followers are outraged and if elected Trump could actually uh, be uh, the first president on trial but even uh, then uh, pre as president he can't pardon himself of state charges but that's really going into the the future right now, the big uh, story, of course, with Trump appearing uh, before the judge. That's right. In fact, uh, New York City officials are bracing for protests. In fact, that was expected that Trump uh, will be mobilizing his supporters. In fact, that was a big story that uh, we were all watching for uh, in New York City. That's right. And the New York mayor has cautioned anyone coming to New York to protest. Should control yourselves. Take a look at what he said. New York City is always, always ready. Uh, we know that this is a city where our NYPD and other law enforcement entities uh, must be prepared at any given moment for anything to happen in this city. Uh, to start, I want to make it clear, uh, the commissioner has stated it over and over again, there has been no specific, specific credible threats to our city at this time. And all New Yorkers should go on with their regular activities, that means going to work, going to school, uh, we're going to do our job as we all do. The NYPD do. is prepared to ensure that everyone is able to have their voices heard peacefully while exercising their First Amendment rights. We do this work in close collaboration with our federal, state, and local partners because keeping our city safe is absolutely a collective effort. As the mayor stated, there are no credible or specific threats to New York City at this time. New Yorkers may see an increased police presence in parts of the city, and should anticipate intermittent road closures over the next two days, particularly in Manhattan. To avoid delays, I too urge everyone to use mass transit when possible. I will forever support this beautiful man who saved our country one time and he's going to do it again. God bless President Trump, best president this country ever had. I'm proud to say I'm gay and I love this man.